I am not on the run, Malami says, as EFCC said to probe loose of over $2.4 billion. Hello, great viewers. Welcome to my novel channel. A former Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Ababaka Malami, has denied a report of an invitation extended to him by the Economic and Financial Crime. Punctured EFCC saying he would honor such an invitation. Reports had a match claiming Malami flew the country to evade arrest and investigation following the suspension of the EFCC chairman, Abdul Rashid Bawa. By President Bola Ahmed Tinibu, Bawa's suspension had raised doubts about the stewardship of Malami with the former minister highly recommending the Suspension Anti-Corruption Agency Board. A source at the EFCC told the Litros that anti-graph agencies was interested in finding out from Malami the alleged loss of over $2.4 billion in revenue from the illegal sale of 48 million barrels of crude oil export in 2015, including all crude oil export and sales by Nigerian from 2014 to date. While disclosing that the former minister has been invited, the source added that there are other issues the former attorney general of the federation would respond to when he finally honored the invitation. But in an exclusive interview last night, Malami swiftly Denied receiving any invitation from the EFCC. He said, I have not been invited by the EFCC or any other anti corruption agencies in Nigeria. I am not available in Nigeria and attending a wedding, Fatiha stated. For 2.30 at Sheikh Isiaka Rabi Mosque, Kanu, tomorrow. I have no plan of leaving Nigeria, and I will gladly honor any invitation extended to me by any agency of government. I am a true Nigeria, and I believe in the Nigerian project. I will make myself available to Nigeria and its institution on demand. You know, it's quite surprising. I even wonder why they have not arrested him. This man is corrupt. He has done a lot of things, just like he next chairman. But the Ametinibu will never prosecute people like this because they gave him happy hand in different way. Malami has caused so much problem in Nigeria. He behaves as if Nigeria is his. What he does is to continue to disobey court orders. When someone is released by court of law, Malami will say otherwise. Today, Buhari has left. What Ahmed Tinibu should be doing is to bring Malami to book. But he's not doing that. Just like he would never bring Ginek Chaman to book for the atrocities he has committed. I said this before. When you want to become something great, you have to wash your hands very well. You have to come through the right process, right channel. When you went in through the first, pro, uh, first channel, then you will continue to make mistakes. And believe me, you will not achieve anything because you will continue to hide those who aided you why you are committing the whole atrocity. And for this reason, none of them will be arrested, none of them will be detained. And while you are at it, you are going to make so many mistakes. We all know that Ahmed Tinibu did not win 2023 election. He was rigged into office. That's just it. He was rigged into office. So tell Name Tinibu to bring someone like Yakubu, the next chairman to book, <laughs> we'll be wasting of time. Tell Name Tinibu 
to get ESCC to get Malami, a man who has continued to disobey court order since he became Attorney General of the Federation, will be a waste of time. Malami has done a lot of atrocities. Not only Nande Kano and other freedom fighters, whom he has kidnapped and keep them in different facilities in, the, in Nigeria. Some of them were released by the court to date. They are not released yet. Just like Mazen Nande Kano, the leader of Biafra Strong. But Ahmed Tinibu will not bring him to book because Ahmed Tinibu will not like to step in people's toes. Who knows everything about him? He will not like to step in people's toes. Who will help him to become a president of Nigeria? Something that, if done in the right way, he would never smear them. That's the truth. And this is why the case is also in court. They are dragging, doing everything possible. Malam is claiming that he did not invite him. He denied it totally. Meaning that he's still boasting. If Malami happens to be an Igbo man by now, he'll be in DSS net. He'll be in EFCC net. That's just it. Just like Amy Ferry was arrested, the woman that he continued to give 500 billion every month in the name of eradicating poverty in the north. Have Ahmed Tinibu arrested her? The answer is no. <laughs> so what, what, how do you expect uh, Tinibu to uh, tell the EFCC to arrest uh, Malami? So how can Tinibu arrest uh, Inek Shaman Yakub, a man that brought him into office diversely? <laughs> guys, you guys don't understand. You are just playing in gallery. Let me tell you something. Just like Buhari did, that is what Tinibu is going to do. He will continue to frustrate those in people who are innocent, those who are freedom fighters, because they ask for art from Nigeria. At the same time, he will continue to treat the terror group with kiss glow. You can see since his inauguration, you and I can be able to identify how many people that has been killed. 20, 128 of them. This is a man who told you that he has come to fight for corruption. He has come to fight for insecurity. But we are not seeing anything rather. All we see is a man, a tart like us, who was visiting him in Asoro, telling him who to jail and who not to jail. <laughs> Child. Uh, is it not obvious that people are doing all sorts of things without thinking twice? Don't get it twisted, brothers. <laughs> the truth is this Ahmed Nibu is going to be a failure, just like Buhari. Because he went into office in a dubious way. So all those people that helped him into office, who are the real corrupt people, will not allow him to reto good them. He can never reto good them. That's just the truth. We should tell ourselves the truth. At this venture, I think I've come to the end of this news. Members as a share. Cheers.